All right, so here's the video to show you how to connect up the Octo kit. This is a series parallel connection. I'll link to the video and that goes in more depth on series and parallel. But here are the eight panels laid out. I'll explain why I've laid them out that way. We'll wire them up together and then I'll show you plugging them into a solar generator. These Octo kits work for Blue Eddies, um, High Solaces, Titans, Eco Flows. So this will work for many different generators. I'm gonna show you it plugged into the Delta Max right now to give you an idea. But as I say, this works for um, Blue Eddies, um, Eco Flows, High Solus, Titan, lots of other generators. All right, before I start wiring this together, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is put the panels top to top. So the top of the panel is where the little diode box is here. Uh, and the little and the cables that come out of the diode box uh, are going to be at the top of the panel. These cables are only like two and a half or three feet long, so you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches to have them go head to head. I flipped these first two over to show you, but before you go and start setting this up, put four panels head headways up this way, and the other four panels headways up that way. Now let's get setting it up. All right, the sun is just starting to come out now. So the first thing that we want to do is wire each of these sets of panels in series. So these four will be wired in series. These four will be wired in series. So as we know from a series connection, the positive goes into the negative. Panel one, panel two, positive into negative. So I will take the female from panel number one here and plug it into the male of panel two. These two are connected in series, and on panel number one, I have a leftover male cable. Let's do this for the rest of the panels. So now on this set of series panels, on panel number one, I have a male leftover, and on panel number four, I have a female leftover. That's what will go into the branch connectors. Next thing though, is I'm gonna connect this set the exact same way. These four panels are gonna be connected in series. Female to male. What I'm going to do is tuck the connected cables underneath to make this look a lot cleaner. So now the only thing that we have on these first panels are the two males here. And on the other end, we have the two females. This is where the branch connectors come in. What we're going to do is plug the extra leftover pieces into these branch connectors and the branch connectors will go into the MC4 cable. So let's do that now. So these two males goes into a female goes into a female here. How easy is that? Now we have one left over here. And let's do that for the male over there. So the last step now is connecting these MC4 extension cable that come in your kit into these leftover panels here. So this is the male. We'll plug it into the female of the kit, of the extension wire, sorry. And this one we'll plug in here. We now have a clean solar array, eight panels out like this four in series, four in series, connected into branch connectors in parallel, running to the extension cable. From here, we're gonna go look at our solar generator and see if we're charging. So you can see the sun is actually still stuck just behind uh, that cloud. Um, we're also only at around 11 a.m. or so. So once this gets to about 1 p.m. Uh, and it's out of the cloud, behind the cloud, and in the blue sky, we'll probably be getting perfect sunshine. But for now, here's the Octo Kit as we just set it up. The extension wire and this is going into the Delta Max let's see what we are getting roughly 560 watts going in from the 800 not bad not great as I say once the Sun really gets up to its top uh, position there and we get out from under behind the clouds uh, you know we'll get up to 700 watts or so so yeah that is how you connect your octo kit together